day everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Smart PTZ Indoor Cam for Mubview. Now I already have a couple. I have one indoor cam up here and I have an outdoor camera out back. So let's open this up and let's check it out and we'll see some of the features. So here's some of the features. You got two-way audio. You got night vision. It's also got cloud storage motion detection, panoramic view, activity zone, has warning and playback, has Wi-Fi connection, and it also has ONVIF, which that stands for Open Network Video Interface Form. Okay, so let's open this up. <clears throat> let's check it out. Again, this is the indoor camera. So I already have the app, the MubView app. So let's open this up because like I said I have two other I have an outdoor out back and I have an indoor camera right over here to the left of me we have our booklet we have our USB cable we have some hardware we have a mount if you want to mount it and we have our power block here which will plug into here and then this will plug into your receptacle there is the camera. If you want to mount the camera on the bottom, you'll use the hardware. It has screws and anchors. And you'll screw this or anchor it to where you want to hang your camera. And then put that on, turn it an eighth of a turn, and you're good to go. It also has rubber feet here in case you just want to set it on a desk or something like that. So we're going to plug this in and we'll connect it to the phone and we'll try out some of the functions. I can tell you for a fact that the app is easy to use. It's very user friendly. It's easy to download this app and it's easy to connect to your devices. Now this camera, they also offer free seven day cloud storage with the basic version or you can also insert a micro SD card into the camera to store your videos. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug this in. And as you can see, it did come to life. It's spinning around. Now I'm going to open up the app. Like I said, I've already downloaded it. To download it, you just download it like you would any other app. There's the living room. There's the backyard. Now you're seeing that because that was the last thing I had it inside on the charger. What we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to click add device on the app. I turned on Bluetooth. Okay. And it did find my device right there. So we're going to click on this device. And it does have my 2G there. It has my password there. I'm going to hit next. And it, it's just asking you, is it, you know, to confirm, is it right? Yes, it is correct. Connecting. Please wait a moment. And there, it said connecting. Please wait a moment. And you got a timer counting down there. And there it says connection successful. So I'm going to hit next choose a family I'm just going to keep it as the one I have and then I'm going to hit done and then here it gives you a little little tips like to install in a reasonable location in the area you want to monitor okay we're going to hit next now it says Wi-Fi signal let me turn this down now it said Wi-Fi signal strength was weak when it first came on now that now that it is kicked on current place is good you can install the camera done okay so now we have that that is this camera that is the camera on the wall and that is the camera out back which we can turn this on and it will connect to the camera out back and there it is that's the backyard so let's go back here and then we're going to look at the one here in the kitchen. 
well it's shining it's kind of on the kitchen wall but it's pointing to the um I don't know there you go it's pointing into the living room so if we have to go away for a little bit then we can keep an eye on mom and then here is the one we just connected to and there we are okay so now we can move the camera there we go by using this and as you can see the camera is moving nicely it's pointing down now we're going to point up And it's looking at you guys right now so now I'm going to set this up over here somewhere and I'll walk in front of it and we'll play around with some of the settings and we'll see what kind of video footage and audio it has now before we take a look at the footage there's the camera right there it's picking me up you hear my phone in the background that is what's giving me the alarm that someone is here but what is also cool is that thing is following us wherever we go okay now to go in the other room and I'm going to talk to you through this. Okay now you can see this thing is following me. I'm going to go in the other room and I'm going to talk to you through this. Hello. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. And that's all done through here. As you can see, this is the image. I have the lights turned off. I can move the camera just by swiping the screen. So here, as you can see, I have the kitchen light on, but the living room light turned off, so I'm not blinding you. But I can move the camera just by swiping the screen, left, right, or up and down. And the longer you swipe, the more it will turn for pan and zoom. This is the quality of the camera in kind of a low light gloomy day. It is raining. And this is the quality of the sound recording. I don't think it's bad at all. For a camera, you can hear every word I'm saying. Again, I have the audio and recording turned all the way up because her mom is elderly and we do talk to her if we have to go somewhere for a couple hours. We can talk to her through these cameras. We've done it before, and they work fine. So now, right up here, top left corner, it is picking us up. This is from the fireplace living room because it's sitting on the fireplace pointing into the living room. We're going to pull that down, and there's our tips. Um, this is 244. And that's exactly what time it is right now okay so it's still picking us up so we're going to click on that and here we are give it a second to open up turn that down okay so there we are and this is all the stuff it's picked up from earlier also what I like about this is it will record for up to three minutes instead of just 30 seconds so that's great. It also has a noise detection that you can set on low, medium, or high. So in other words if someone breaks a window it can pick that sound up. It can pick up the sound of dogs barking. It can pick up a sound of somebody banging on your door and that will give you an alert that it did pick up something unusual 
so you might want to look into. It also has screen flip, so if you want to mount it upside down, you can hit in the settings. There is an option to hit the screen flip button, which will flip the screen. Even though the camera is upside down, you will be looking at it. It will be right side up. It will record right side up. So as you guys can see, the clarity is pretty good. It does track very well. It tracks better than any other tracking device I've had. And it's picking me up right now. That's what you're hearing. Um, the audio is clear and loud. Now you can turn the audio up and down. You can turn the volume recording up and down. I have them all the way turned up for her mother. If we have to go somewhere and we want to check on her, we can talk to her through the cameras. We have done that with the other one we have up there and it works flawlessly as far as downloading the app it's very simple follow the instructions in here you won't have a problem there's a qr code you can scan for ios and android and it'll bring you right to the app you download it install it follow the instructions like i just said it's very simple i also have other videos on my reviews playlist where I show you how to set that up it's real simple it's real easy also there is tech support you can call them you can email them and they'll help you out with anything you need help with so that's my review of another mub view this one is the indoor camera and I appreciate them sending that to me to try out I will get a lot of use out of it so thanks for watching everyone I appreciate it have a great day